I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to do some magic, um, some socialist magic. Now, I realise there may be some members of the audience who are not entirely familiar with the genre of socialist magic. So, um, so in order to lead you gently into it, I'm going to start off by showing you a trick that I saw an ordinary bourgeois magician do um, many, many years ago. But in true socialist manner, I'm not only going to show you a tri the trick, I'm also going to show you how it's done and a dialectically opposite method of performing it. Uh, so you can all do this, uh, possibly as part of your course, I don't know. Um, but it's a trick with a red handkerchief. Um, I'll show you the whole trick. The trick with the red handkerchief, this is the trick the bourgeois magician did. Had a red handkerchief like this, which was pushed into the top of the fist, like that. The bourgeois magician pushed it in the top of his fist. As he did so, he pulled it out the other side, only to find that it had changed to an entirely different colour. <laughs> now, I thought this was amazing. I don't know what you think, but I was very impressed at that time, partly because my consciousness hadn't been raised very far, but, you know, I was, I was amazingly impressed. I burst into um, applause and all that sort of thing, but it's all right. Um, so, um, um, I can, no, it's all right, I can see... I can see, actually, probably, um, as we go on, um, if you could try not to applaud too much, because uh, in solidarity with the current NAPFI dispute, um, I'd, I'd like you not to introduce any quality, any sort of element of assessment um, <laughs> into this. So if you're applauding too much, you know, it'll get, give me a, a, too much of an idea of... How, how it's going. Anyway, push, it, push the red handkerchief in the, the top there. Push, uh, the, he pulled the blue one out the top there. Yes, that's it, the, the bottom there. And, uh, as, and I, thought, I thought this was amazing. How could he do this? Push the red handkerchief right down into his fist like that. And I was so impressed uh, with this trick. Solidarity, by the way. Um, <laughs> I was so impressed with this trick that I decided that after the show, I would go around the back of the stage and and ask him how it's done. Hold back your applause. Because <laughs> what, what he told me was that in order to do this effectively, you need not one, but two handkerchiefs. Some, some of you may have worked this out already. <laughs> two handkerchiefs, and they must both be different colours. That's very important. <laughs> it's no good just one of them being a different colour. They've got to both... <laughs> it's all right. It just goes quickly. Um... They've got to both be different colours. And before the show begins, you take one of the handkerchiefs. I'm going to use the red one. And you push that down into, into your fist. This, is what, this must be done in complete uh, and utter privacy or as near to it uh, as you can get. Push the red handkerchief into, into your fist like that. Then you are ready to begin. Now, one thing you must remember once you get onto the stage is to keep this hand very tightly closed. Because if you open it, some of the more astute members of the audience will see the red handkerchief in there and then they'll know exactly how the trick is done. So keep that hand closed. Then you come on with the blue handkerchief. Take the blue handkerchief, push it into the top of your fist like that. As you do so, very carefully pull the red one out the other side. It couldn't be simpler, could it? Blue one in the top there. Red one out there. A little tip, though, if you do decide to do this trick, try not to talk too much during it. A lot of, a lot of magicians spoil this with a lot of patter. <laughs> but it's not necessary because it is basically a visual trick. As you can see, the politics is coming across here visually. Um, you'll notice I'm doing the opposite of what the bourgeois magician did. I'm going from blue to red in true socialist manner, thus making the political point very effectively, although it's not subtle, I'll admit that. Um, <laughs> But uh, it, is, it is very effective. In fact, at one time, I used to do this trick. I used to do the whole act without talking at all, uh, this uh, completely silently. But then um, the government introduced legislation by which, um, if one didn't speak, uh, it could be construed as an admission of guilt. So, um, <laughs> so now I speak all the time, especially if you don't speak in certain accents. But anyway... Um, so push the blue. Uh, never show the two hang. What should, what, should I tell? No, you, you could on the no. But on the other hand, yes. But why not? Yeah, no. All right. All right, comrade. I will. It's, sorry, I'm going through a bit of an internal reorganisation at the moment. Um, it's 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 possible that at some point during this show, some part of me may actually split off. <laughs> and form an autonomous organisation. Um, 
probably won't notice the difference. Um, <laughs> But anyway, this trick that I'm showing you now, this trick, the blue and the red, this is actually, uh, I don't know if you'll be impressed by this, but I'll tell you. This is, this is actually the trick that many years ago, I did this trick um, for, um, for Fidel Castro. Um, many. Well, <laughs> well, he said he was Fidel Castro. <laughs> um, well, well, what he actually said was, if you're a magician, I, anyway, it doesn't... <laughs> Ne never, uh, never show the two handkerchiefs separately because then it's obvious how the trick is done. Um, push the, the blue handkerchief in the top there, pull the red one out there, push that right down into, into your fist. Then you, can, then you can put that away, stand back and wait for the applause. Thank you.